Namaste. Leo, someone rising and being in this placement, welcome in. Make yourself comfortable and just enjoy the show. I'm back on track, so thank you very much for being patient with me, bearing with me. Um, I truly do appreciate that. This is a general reading for the sign of Leo, so whatever resonates with you, you are taking him. And if something is not your message, then you will be aware of it and you should obviously not take it in. Just falling on the ground. Leah, with me saying that this is a general reading, of course, it's not going to resonate with every single one of you. So take only what does. Let's see what is going on with you. What do you need to know? What do you need to be aware of? What do you need to pay attention to? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bottom of the deck for you, the overall energy is the Knight of Wands. And I feel like this is your spirit wanting to come through, especially because it is a fire energy. It is your energy. Uh, it can be that your spirit wants you to know that uh, you are allowed to be enthusiastic. You are allowed to be happy. You are allowed to laugh. You are allowed to feel joy because I'm feeling like at this moment of time that you are somehow closing up. And um, as the overall energy, the Knight of Wands, it's new, it's fresh, and I feel like it's something that is yet to come. So it's almost like you closing in your shell at this moment of time might even be a preparation for what is yet to come, for how happy and joyous and enthusiastic, optimistic you can be and will be very, very soon. Um, yeah, Leah, we're talking about you underneath that is the strength. It's your major arcana. So it's literally the spirit saying, be strong, keep going up, keep doing what you're doing. Even if it feels like you are closing at this very moment, then close a little bit, feel that emptiness, feel whatever you might be going through. And this is what, what is unfolding. When it comes to your messages, we have the seven of swords, the three of pentacles, the chariot, Cancerian major, con number of seven, with the nine of swords. Okay, so we have a little bit of mix of air, earth, yeah, water more or less, but strong. Cancer is, you know, major arcana is strong. I feel like this is somebody in your environment uh, that is quite shady, and I recently did a mini spread readings. Uh, on my TikTok, so maybe you want to check that out. The same message was coming through. So uh, somebody in your environment, and I feel like you know who I'm talking about, the same person over and over again is trying to uh, manipulate you, is trying to win you over in a sense of, you know, how they are having rights, how they are proving their points. Uh, they are trying to trick you and do stuff behind your back. With the Three of Pentacles, uh, I feel like there is somebody in your presence. This can be, with the Seven of Swords energy, this can be a person you were dealing with once, romantic-wise. It doesn't have to be the case, though. But somebody in your environment, definitely. With the Three of Pentacles, there is somebody in the present with whom you are working and having an union and a teamwork. And it's going to be different for every single one of you, right? But for some of you, this can be a romance. For others of you, it can be a partnership. For others of you, other group of people of you, it can be a business or career or just managing something together with somebody. That is the energy. That is that earth uh, stable energy with the three of pentacles, which is actually at the beginning of the building and creation of the stability and foundation. With the chariot, something is rushing in, something is coming towards you. For a lot of you, this is the manifestations that you were manifesting. Thank you, sweetie. 
that you were manifesting for a while, the time will come. And, you know, these are kind of a timeless reading. So whenever you, don't touch it, no. Whenever you come across it, it's a perfect timing for you to receive these messages, okay? So uh, very, very soon, something is coming very fast towards you. And this can be something that you were waiting a longer while, a longer period, doesn't have to be the case though, but it is something that um, definitely rushing towards you. For a lot of you, it might be a decision, it might be another person, it might be an opportunity. It is in a combination with the Nine of Swords. So whatever is coming in has a great potential and positivity. Baby, can you stop it? Can you stop it? Yeah, mama is filming. Sorry, people. No, I don't. I, I gave you that to play with that. Yeah, it's cool. So whatever is coming in has a great, great potential, okay? Because it's coming in with the Nine of Swords, which is telling me you will be washing those tears and fears. And no, I don't want it. You will be washing those tears and fears and, you know, missed chances and... and um, pessimistic way of thinking just all of the negativity will be washing away because with the chariot something great is coming in anyhow let's clarify these messages can you stop it i don't want it i gave it to you i gave it to you to play with it okay Seven of Swords, we have the emptiness. So this is somebody who is quite, quite shitty. And this is somebody, uh, I feel like, with whom you were dealing with. Uh, possibly an air sign, do you mind Libra or Aquarius? Um, somebody who is quite empty inside. Somebody who doesn't know what they want. Not quite mature. Um... Very, very childish, actually. And somebody who just wants to screw around with people's minds, people's hearts. And they might see you as an easy target. <clears throat> Feelings. So, yeah. There were feelings between you and this person. A while ago, once in a lifetime. And it was true. I feel like, you know, it's a little bit contradictory here because they really feel empty inside. But with the feelings, intuitively came to me that they are still having feelings for you and they just don't know how to manage those feelings. And they're also having regrets. Okay, let's move on, clarifying the Three of Pentacles. With the Three of Pentacles, totally different type of energy. Um, somebody who is now present in your life, as I was saying, as a romance, as a partner, whatever the case might be. And wow. Uh, looks like the both of you are growing. We have the wheel, the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. So change is experienced at this very moment. And I feel like you are evolving together because we have that needy greedy message with the consciousness. And for a lot of you, you are dealing with an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. And uh, it can be that the both of you have this skills inside of you but that is changing because uh through the teamwork you're evolving and just uh, making the best out of it being better humans and yeah just growing and evolving with each other that is beautiful Let's clarify the Chariot and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, we have, wow. 
Wow. Love is happening. We have the discipline at the bottom of the deck. Uh, discipline might be one of the lessons for you, Leo, that you need to go through. Uh, we have transformation as the first message of clarification with the lovers. Okay. We have transformation and lovers. So the teamwork is definitely leveling up and transforming. You guys evolving with each other and growing and something is happening very, very Russians in a hurry. And the love is there to be discovered. So this is coming to an end. All of the suffer, all of the... <clears throat> botherings that you were having and just the things that you could not bear with or just thought so uh that's already in the past because we are already to, uh, speaking about the nine let's see about an advice for leo some rising and venus placements Vision at the bottom of the deck. You see potentially what others overlook. Hold your vision. Trust the process. Okay. Uh, Leo, if you're wishing to have a personal reading with me, uh, holla at me. Let me know and we can, uh, we can make it happen. You have manifest as your piece of advice for you, Leo. What you put out is coming back to you. Focus your intentions. Take inspired actions. Okay, I just want to see what is um, love universe message for you before I close this one for you. <coughs> mm -hmm. No two flowers are the same, yet all are beautiful in their own way. Comparison are odious because they presume all other things are equal, which is never the case. Let's see a couple of more. Okay. Love is the reason. Yes. Involving growing in a teamwork, learning the discipline that you need to learn because love is the reason. And you are moving towards love and transformation and this is just beautiful don't be mislead yeah don't let um outside people energies negativities that might be literally throwing in your face at you um stop you from and you you will not you will not you will not okay so um, i'm loving this reading for you it starts you know a little bit <gasps> But it, it, it goes in a flow of something is building and that's a, that's a progress and I, I, I love it. Especially because you are my first sign uh, since I'm back on track. So thank you very much for being here, sharing a little bit of time and energy with me. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have not already. I truly do appreciate that. Have a lovely day, night or evening, wherever you might be in this in this world. <laughs> Take care.